Had you told me 21 years ago I was going to film the Oprah Winfrey show to be talking about my career and um, a lifetime of hiding uh, being gay, I would have told you to shut up. Jelly ride. Oh my god, I booked another role. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm playing Willie Loman in The Death of a Salesman at the Pantages. <laughs> How did you book a straight male role? I can't, this, these are not sticking. They're not sticking. And I, you know what? Because they're badly written lines. They're just bad and they don't make sense. Well, you make them make sense. That's what you do. I'll write this line, but it has to stay in there. And I repeat it, and I write over and over until suddenly the rhythm gets going, and then it picks up on the next line, and off we go. There was a gay community that could have some political muscle. After his election, he said that no one will run for office in San Francisco ever again without first knocking on the door of the gay community. And that was not an exaggeration. The reason, probably, that Queen stole the show at Live Aid was because they were a genuine stadium band. Freddie and the boys would go out and say, well, this is our sort of crowd, you know. It's, it's what they did. 